Bonjour, bienvenue dans cette deuxième partie de la vidéo qui concerne l'activité de voile Vietcel à Phu Quoc au Vietnam, activité fondée par Pierre. Donc il s'agit ici de la version française, en ce sens qu'elle comprend des sous-titres en français. Les dialogues, eux, par contre, sont en anglais. Donc euh, certains détails, vous pouvez aller les trouver dans la première partie. Et ici, en tout cas, je vous souhaite un bon visionnage. Et peut-être viendrez-vous faire de la voile à Phu Quoc. Pierre est sur son bateau déjà. Il est préparé. Et c'est le sign du sailing center. So here we have T going with Pierre, his instructor, to the boat. It's the first time for T. He never went on a catamaran. Let's see how he does. See how happy he, how happy T is. Hey Pierre, how are you? Yeah. Everything okay? The boat will not sink, you think? <laughs> okay, looks nice. So, this is the boat, the sail. I got it all. Wow. So, I think we are ready to go. Our instruction yes, is there me. pushing the boat. Okay. And T is gripping everything he can. Yes, I'm holding on to my dear life. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> oh, I'm so everything excited. Everything okay? Yeah. I'm so excited. And I didn't put so, the, the tuning gun yet. Oh, oh yeah. I'll just put it in a bit later. First, what okay. I thought is the tip. So I'm going to work. Okay. <laughs> That's what you have? Yes, it's okay. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Grab it. Wait, because uh, I, I can... You on your hand, so you got to hold on to something. I know, I know. Okay, I got this. Good. Yeah. We go? Okay. We go slowly, huh? Yes. We go. Okay. And I will tuck in in few seconds, because there is some swimmer here. Say hello, guys, to the camera. Hello. So tuck in is me, I will turn. Yeah, yeah. yeah because it's getting, a bit, it's getting a bit boring. Huh? We need you to sing, it's getting a bit boring. Yeah. Uh, what do you want I sing? Uh, uh, sing hallelujah. Oh, good. <laughs> good. Hallelujah. Okay, so. Hallelujah. Bye bye, lad. Yes. Bye bye, South Beach. Okay. Okay, it's shooting. Okay. So. Perfect. What are you going to learn? So. My first uh, Vietnamese customers. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, it's really my first Vietnamese customer. Okay. One of the first. Mm -hmm. the, the, the really more important thing to know in sailing is where the wind comes from. Because mm -hmm. you always need to know where it comes from because you adapt mm -hmm. your sail mm -hmm. always with the wind. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know where the wind comes from, you don't know how to, to adjust your sail. Right. So it's really the, 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 the more important things to know in sailing. When you have this in your in your head, mm -hmm. when you remember, for example, now the wind comes from here, uh -huh. when you know that, uh -huh. all will be more simple. You can drive your boat more easily. Mm. So how I can how do you think you can know where the wind comes from? What really? do you think? You feel it in your face? Exactly, that's mm -hmm. really a, a, a good student, really nice. <laughs> okay, okay. He, he, he gave the, the, the good answer at the first question. Okay, okay. Really nice. Yeah, exactly. The feeling on your face is really important. Don't ask me questions now, I don't dare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really important. You can, for example, feel the wind on your face and in your ear. Yeah. Uh -huh. And when you turn your head and when you have the... The, the wind in the buff of your face and in the buff of your ear, you, you hear in your buff here, mm -hmm. it means you have your head 
against the wind. Right. Face to the wind. Mm -hmm. So it means, yeah, the wind comes from here. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you adjust yourself accordingly then? After, yeah, step by step, but okay. yeah, it's the more important term to know. After, yeah, we adjust the cell mm -hmm. exactly. Uh, we, and when we know that, we can adjust the cell more mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Second things to know in sailing, the more important things, mm -hmm. is that you cannot go against the wind. So that that's why sense. it's really important. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That's why it's really important. So if I want to go there, I cannot go straight here. Right. It's impossible. Right. I have always an angle. Uh -huh. For example, the wind comes from here. Uh -huh. So I have always an angle uh -huh. about 45 degrees. Uh -huh. On the one side uh -huh. or the other side. Uh -huh. So it means on this area, uh -huh. I cannot go directly. Right. If I want to go there, I need to zigzag. Uh -huh. Yeah. So that means we take longer. Exactly. You are uh -huh. totally... Totally uh, uh, right. Right. Uh -huh. Take exactly. longer to get to get ahead. Mm. And so, if I want to go there, it will mm. take more time, more time than if I want to go there. Right. That's why it's always important to know where the wind comes from and oh, also right. where you want to go. Right. And so, if you pull, uh -huh. you will go on now, the left. Now, okay. Okay. And okay. if you push, you will uh -huh. go on the right. Wow. Big excitement in the boat. Wow. ST is yeah. learning. To steer the boat yeah. wow. and under uh, the very attentive eye. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And it's very sensitive. You can feel the direction exactly. change. Exactly. With this kind of boat, you have the right to go six miles from the coast, no yeah. more. Yeah. Okay. That's, so That's nice. more or less international. Yeah. So how do you feel when you're six miles off the coast? <laughs> Just uh, okay. around uh, six miles. It means uh, you have uh, yeah five hours. Uh, Five hours, something like wow. that. Yeah. Okay. These guys are wearing glasses. I cannot even see if they are really sincere. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, actually now the direction is good enough. I can take off the glasses. Okay, let's uh, see how you steer the boat. Well, okay. you want me to go right. I'm gonna yeah. go right. Yeah. Normally, when you yeah. when you sail, you you choose a point on a map. So yeah. And then you try to follow it, to, to yeah. remain always focused on the point yeah. you've chosen stay, before. Stay straight. Yeah. Well, uh, we don't know where where to go, so... For example, you can see the rocks, you see the, the last rocks, uh -huh. you can focus on it, uh -huh. and you, for example, you, you try to take this rock between your eyes and you down to unlock. Okay. Yeah, he's going to try to do some ah. trapeze. Okay, so... So... Which one is mine? Try to put this. Uh -huh. I will help me with my hand uh -huh. to put it out, to, uh -huh. to go outside. Uh -huh. But the first rule uh -huh. is never always stay sit down. Uh -huh. Never get up, because if I get up, uh -huh. I can unlock it. Okay, got it. So you always stay sit down. Uh -huh. Like a chair. Always stay sit down. So I always stay sit down. With my hand, I put my hand here. And I put my hand here. Put my hands out. Okay, put your hands out. Exactly. With my foot, two foot, and slowly, then I will stand it. Exactly. So you see the handle. And after, like that. You can move it slowly. At the beginning, it's not really simple. Do it slowly. Push, push, push. Okay. So you can go there. Or you can go there. And after, it's like a chair. Like a chair. Behind the shrub. First. Oh, oh okay. yeah, okay. exactly. Yeah. Okay. And then you. So first you put this up. Yeah, this one up. Yeah, exactly. And then yeah, perfect. Okay. Now you're locked. Lock it. Yeah. And then I so pull you this pull. up. Yeah. And when you feel your body going up. You lock. Okay. So you lock. Up. Exactly. Okay. Perfect. So now it's okay. It's locked. Okay. So with your hand slowly, mm -hmm. you put your ass outside and never, never get up. Always stay sit down. Okay. Don't forget this. 
You, you, you try to, to get up now. Oh, so it's okay. not the good thing. Okay, okay. You stay sit down like this oh, and you okay. push. Oh, you okay. push outside. Okay. Push. Stretch, stretch both legs. But, but, yeah, yeah. Let, let your leg here. Oh, okay. Now you push yourself yeah, outside you of the with boat with your arm. hands. Put, put your, your here. Put it here. Okay. Yeah. And now push. Put your hands outside. Don't worry. You will not fall down. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Stay sit down. Okay. Yeah. Now stretch your legs. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Go outside the boat now. Yes, yeah. good. Now the other leg. leg. Okay, leg. stretch now. Slowly. Yeah. And now put one foot. Yeah. Okay, on the left, okay, on the okay. Right. Good. It's okay, you don't need to, to take this. Foot. Okay. Yeah. I can release it like that. Yes, yes. Exactly. Your head. Okay. More you have space between your foot, more you will be sla stable. Okay. More your, your foot are close, more it's unstable. Stretch okay. your arms. You don't need your arms. Stretch. Yeah, okay. good. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's difficult the first time. Yeah, you, yeah. yeah. Well done. How you feel? Free! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now so if to I come back. Go in, if I want to come back. Yeah, so you put your second foot here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and slowly you close your eyes. Your, mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. Like this. Perfect. Yeah, good. Good job. So I pull it down to relax it? Yeah. That's interesting. Ah, and I see some trash, some oh, garbage. Yeah. So yeah. I will collect it. Yes, it's not so I one of my job. Yeah, that's I good. want to clean the sea. Yeah. So I cannot do everything, yeah. but I try to do my best mm. to collect the yeah, plastic. Well and yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I try Is it on? every day to... Is it on? Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think I'm the only company in Fukuoka to do that. Yeah, okay. I think maybe I'm one of the most ecological companies. What should I do when I'm arriving? Uh -huh. The first thing is also to stop the boat. Uh -huh. I told you before, I need to stay against the wind. Uh -huh. So I need to remember where the wind comes from. Uh -huh. So for example, now the wind comes from the back. So I will need to turn a 180 uh -huh. on the back to let the boat against the wind mm -hmm. to stop the boat. Okay. That's the first things to know. The second things, now it's not deep. Mm -hmm. So my rudder is a little bit deep, so I need to put it out. Okay. So I put out my, my rudder. Uh-huh. Okay. And now I'm safety to arrive. Okay. So I will turn slowly be against the wind to stop my boat. Okay. So I will now push my tiller. I will turn on the right because on the right nobody there. On the left there is some people. So I prefer to turn on the right where there is nobody. Okay. Yes. We should avoid the people. Yeah. So I turn slowly. This is Eco Beach Resort in Onglam Beach. As you can see a very nice place and we went sailing from there. Well, you will see very shortly, yes, you see the boat there. You see also a part of the beach. And uh, we took the boat from there for sailing of uh, one or two uh, hours. Well, now I must say that the weather was not that nice. Sometimes we had sun, sometimes not. It was a bit gray, so not the best day to, uh, to look for uh, fishes, to look at corals and things like this. And it was also not very windy. So we just enjoyed the time on the boat. As you can see, it's a beautiful scenery. The water could have been more transparent, but as you know, when the weather is not so good. Here, I'm swimming a bit. See, still enjoying the time. And then you will also see Pierre. Well, he knows how to make bubbles, you see? He's kind of a clown, he's a clownfish. Then uh, we saw a jellyfish. See, a beautiful one, quite big, I would say 20 to 30 centimeters. And then it was time to go back to the beach and of the sailing. Hi there. We had a good sail? Yeah. You were happy with the sailing of today? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It was nice. So. No, not so windy, but it was okay. Okay, was okay. but the uh, weather was nice. We yeah. could sail a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See a few fishes. Yeah. 
and now we go back with our small bike. Exactly. Okay, Pierre, thank you. You're welcome.